Zek Super Lobbies here, and today in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get custom font on your PS3 on custom firmware. So the first thing you guys want to do is go ahead and download Rebug Toolbox, the link will be in the description, as well as an FTP server on your computer, so make sure you guys have like FileZilla or something like that so we can FTP to our PS3. Now after you guys have downloaded the Rebug Toolbox package file, and like FileZilla or some type of FTP client on your computer, you just want to go head over to your computer. So on your computer, go to this website in the description called defont.com, and this is where we're going to choose our custom PS3 font. Mm, I'm going to choose this one right here. And um, you guys can use any of these, but uh, you just want to make sure that it's a TTF. Um, file extension because if it's not a TTF, uh, TTF stands for True Type Font. Um, TTF extensions only work on PS3, so if it's something else like OTF or something, um, it won't you know work and read on our PS3. So go ahead and open up that downloaded font you have. And for purposes, I'm going to download this one right here because I know this one. All right, so see how it's an OTF? We don't want that. Um, so. We open up another font, make sure it's a .ttf, uh, true type font file. And then, you should only get one in here, but I have two because this one comes with bold and regular. I'm just going to get the regular one, drag it on your desktop. You guys can close out one more. And then, hit Ctrl C and Ctrl V, make sure you have a copy of them. So you'll have one and two. Make sure they're the same font though, just do another copy. And now, open up Rebook Toolbox on your PS3. So once Rebug Toolbox is opened on up, go ahead and open up your FileZilla and connect over there. And then go to Dev Rebug, Data, Font. Now once you're in here, you just want to find the file name called scepsresrrlatin.ttf. Go ahead and copy the name of that, but don't copy the TTF, just copy uh, that part. And replace, rename one of them to that, and then rename the copy to the same thing. We'll put a two at the end. Okay. Once you guys have done that, drag those into FileZilla, and now you guys will see you'll have like. I'll put this in big. Um, one second. Let me just drag. Hold up. File name right there. So drag your file name out so you guys can see the extensions. So you'll see we'll have. Like, f like we'll have a .ttf lowercase in two capitals. Delete the ones with the capital letters. And then, you guys want to rename the ones with the lowercase letters to capital TTF. Okay. So it should just be TTF. Okay, now rename the other one to .ttf. So you guys should see you'll have the Latin ones replaced. And I'll have these... Um, names in the description so you, go, you guys don't have to hunt for them. And then once you guys have done that, go back onto your PS3. So you guys can just close out a Rebook Toolbox. And then go over to Theme Settings on your PS3. And then Font. And then get on Rounded. And you'll see it's the custom font that we just put on. So you guys can see my name's like... Everything's cursive and stuff. And it looks pretty cool, I guess. So... You know, um, if you guys did enjoy that tutorial, um, please show your feedback. Um, some fonts are a little messed up like this one, but, uh, you know, it's cool. I like the cursive, and it just look, it's just cool to have, you know. Um, make your PS3 look cool, and then customize it some more. So, hopefully this tutorial helped you out. If it did, um, please go ahead and show your support by liking the video. And, um, let me, let me know if you guys want me to do a beginner CFW tutorial series. Um, well, I'll, like, teach beginner modders how to, you know, do simple stuff like modded comments and replace ebook and stuff. Just tell me if you guys want to see that um, for those new people that might be getting jailbreaks this summer or something. Um, so just tell me that down below. I uh, hope this helps you. Bye.